In yesterday's game against Frostburg State University, Phil Newman and Joe Ingrao put on a show for the IC record books. Yeah, I, I thought they really timed things up well, which is great to see. I think that, uh, you know, we just had a lot of plays called for us, and, you know, they targeted my number today, and we just did a real good job of connecting on the little things, and I thought we did well in that. It may have been a slow first quarter, but some slight changes paid dividends for the combo. I think that they did a good job of uh, pressing me in the first half, and then the second half we just attacked the corners a little more, which I thought was, you know, beneficial for our offense, but I think we did a great job today. And Grail had 161 yards and a touchdown, the 13th most yards in team history and the most since Kyle Crandall had 162 in 2008, as Ingrao puts himself among the all-time greats in his senior season. You know, Joe's a great receiver. He's, uh, he's going to get open. They played off him a little bit. They played up tight, and we were able to take advantage of whatever they were doing, and, uh, you know, he, he makes plays. The 52-yard touchdown pass may have looked like an adjustment after a slow first quarter, but the guys just say it's part of the game plan. For the most part, we're just running the offense. He's getting open and the reads are taking me to him, so uh, that's really what it comes down to. It's, it's not anything too crazy, it's just we're running the offense and, and we, we were able to execute a bunch today. With 249 yards and two touchdowns, it was business as usual for Phil Newman. Can't add some more. I don't even think he has an interception yet this year. He's just been playing great and uh, couldn't ask for a better quarterback than that. After the way they played today, Phil Newman and Joe Ingrao made the case that they're one of the best one-two combinations in all of the Empire 8. From Frostburg, Maryland, I'm Nick Rojas, The Gridiron Report.